And I want you to join the rest in the escort duties. We're up to 97% efficiency here. That's better. We went all the way down to about 40. If Germany had started building a lot of uh, submarines during that era, we would have been in a bit of trouble. But thankfully, we wrestled control of the skies back. And we have well and truly won this now. 3,000 losses, 1,500 casualties inflicted. Yeah, we've, we've won that. We probably have a surplus. Oh, we do! 400! Sweet! Alright, so, where do we need to go next? I mean, getting air control over these regions would be nice. Wouldn't actually be that difficult, either. Here. We need air control down here. And also the Mediterranean. I dislike the fact that we don't have it. I don't think they're actually inflicting much casual, uh, much damage on us. Yeah, we're going to add a free French wing of 200 fighters. Which are going to be on air superiority in the Tyrrhenian Sea. Then we need to do some work at retaking this stuff. It actually looks like the French might take Sardinia. Maybe not. Yeah, see, now they're doing these stupid pushes. <sighs> 2,000 defense. Huge amount of soft attack, which is just going to be doing tons of damage. Especially because these aren't armoured. Alright, new plan. Taking a bit of a risk here. But I notice that they have a port <laughs> right there. If I can take that, we make them starve. Because that's their only port. The risk is that they'll counterattack across here, but hopefully my Dutch and my garrison unit can hold on. Yeah, stop spamming. Spamming. Where is Turkey? Turkey is here. It's currently not doing too hot. Okay, desert troops are starting to arrive, which is good. How are we doing for supply? Supply problems definitely a problem around Damascus. Is Damascus still damaged. Damascus is still damaged. So let's go ahead and repair those locations first. Battlefield camo is done for the tanks. Did we ever finish the decryption? No, that's still going. Oh, the computers. Oh, three days. So we're going to hold off. to level 5. Getting more and more experience. Yeah, see they're immediately trying to cross. Uh, this is not necessarily a bad thing though. Let's set a trap for them. Supermarine spiteful done. Alright, so a bunch of technologies just got finished. First of all, I want decryption. I want encryption. Then all of the aircraft just got finished. We could go for the medium bombers. We're not building those, so yeah, we're going to upgrade all of the aircraft. But the one that really matters is the spiteful Spitfires. So I think the Beauforts, we're just going to straight up upgrade them. So these are heavy fighters to heavy fighters. And then Spitfires are going to become Spitefuls, but we're going to upgrade the Spiteful all the way, probably. How much would we need? 900. We'll wait until we're at 900, and then we'll do that. Also, we do need some more aluminium, which I'm going to buy from Norway. Norway's been a really good ally so far.
Portugal wants to join the Allies. Yeah, absolutely. When do we arrive? A day. Question is, who gets there first? We get there in 11 hours, they get there in two days. Oh, we're there first. Neener, neener, neener. And the great thing about this is they're going to run out of uh, organization so we can counterattack and push them out. Keep on attacking! Move out! Counterattack! The trap was a success! Glorious! Is he still spamming? Yeah, it was a fair amount. And here comes the counter-attack. This is the one that matters, because this is the last crossing. I oh, know we have one more for the uh, final island. But we should be able to make this. Come on. Move out. Just keep on pushing. No, really, keep on pushing. Do not stop. Take that port, and they're as good as dead. I don't care about supply issues. Your Marines, deal like it. We just joined the Allies, Portugal. No, how are they? Ah! They got some reinforcements in. Carry more aircraft. Okay then. Free French. Free French. Free French. That's six. Just need to keep on attacking until they're out of morale. Out of organization. We're only taking a little bit of attrition here. That's failed again. Come on! Move out! They're shipping in more and more units. Alright, so I think what I need to do is leave half of them here as a defense force. And then the other half are going to prepare a naval invasion from here going into here. Because they should leave the majority of their troops there. Go. Ready. Well, go on then. Ah. <laughs> Would help if I unpaused. Uh, that's true. How much experience did I need for the small arms? Was it 200? Yes. Perfect timing. So we'll go ahead and upgrade these to the small arm 2s, because these are going to be quite a big upgrade. Defense 42 versus defense 34. Breakthrough 5 versus breakthrough 6.2. Soft attack 15 against soft attack 12. Piercing 10. Well, we haven't upgraded the tank stuff. Yeah, it's a big upgrade, actually. And I would like you to actually upgrade what we have into this. And that's a good point. We could also upgrade the advanced artillery, probably. Like, all of this stuff is upgradable. Even motorized? Even motor Oh, you can give motorized armor? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Support equipment can get reliability. That just makes it more expensive. Although you would lose less to attrition. Thanks, Marshall. And thanks, Gentis. That was a good suggestion. Almost ready. Boom. Alright, let's get a huge air upgrade. 
Spitfires to Spitefalls. Full engine. Full range. Full reliability. Plus 20 agility. So this is agility 100 versus agility 81. Range 1800 versus range 1500. Max speed 792. Wow. Versus max speed 715. Production cost 25 versus 23. So they are a bit more expensive. But this is really, really worth doing. Ooh, we need a lot more aluminium. That can be arranged. We have way too much steel now. It's nice having a surplus. How are we doing for fuel? Oh, fuel I think we're also doing quite well. Good stuff. Meanwhile, naval engagement still happening here. This is us harrying there. I oh, know this is Portugal. If Portugal is finding convoys here, does that mean I'm not? Right, I I vaguely remember now. One of the things I was going to do at the end of the last session was create destroyer fleets of hunter killer destroyers. So surface raiding as opposed to um, submarine raiding. Although it actually looks like all of my destroyers are being used. Oh! Germany's surface fleet's come out. Well, hello, high seas fleet. 56% screen. That's not going to be good for them. Plus, I just have a lot more capital ships. Two of them? I think they got away. The submarines are escaping as well. 1936 hulls. Cunningham's getting an opportunity to go after them. Yeah, it looks like they withdrew to Hamburg. Good. Oh, looks like D-Day is happening. Nope, D-Day happened. Time to go home. Wasn't really very successful. Cunningham's still got one submarine available. Oh, he's got Silent Hunter now. Uh, that's the mine layer. Cunningham. How are you doing with Ironsides, buddy? Not great. What about uh, Flyswatter? Flyswatter would actually be really useful for you. Oh, you're actually well on the way to that. Cool. Training ships, recon. I don't know how often you actually get into fights. Somerville. Same thing, really. Arthur Powers getting no trades. Fleet protector, blockade runner, superior tactician. Okay, you're getting a couple. Rawlings. Rawlings is an escort. No. Not really worth getting. And then you are a spotter. You know what? The spotters could actually do the concealment. Because I don't want them being attacked. Same thing goes for you, Mr. Forbes. Oh, you can't even get spotter. Uh, concealment expert. We're about halfway.
Walker Tempest. Dive Bomber upgrade. Alright. Uh, does... No, we're not doing the Spike Fangs. Those are basically dive bombers, but not as good. It's now 1944, so we should definitely get these upgrades. And we just need to upgrade you to the Tempest. Hey, Duke. Is the next House of Iron 4 campaign going to be another Kaiserreich one? I really love those. Yeah, probably. I'm kind of waiting for Kaiserreich update to come about. And it should be, I thought, sometime this month. Alright, we're now taking attrition here. Is that because of damage again? Damascus. Yes, it is. I'm a little surprised we're having as many supply issues as we are. Apparently the ports aren't big enough. I think we're working on that, aren't we? Yeah, I'm not convinced that this is a port problem. Let's upgrade Lebanon a bit more. But only a bit. And then the other thing I want to do is start aluminium mills throughout the Ark. Once all that stuff's done. Off you go. They dropped the Fentian government progress report yesterday. What about release date? That's what I really want. Because at PDXCon they said it would be November or December. Whether that's still going to hold true, we shall see. How are we doing here? Are the marines ready for their work yet? Also, are you level 6 yet? 63. You don't seem to be gaining very fast. And unfortunately, adding the uh, desert troops seems to have really slowed down your progress. Ah, okay. Encryption's done. 45 is still too far out. We could start getting... Experimental rockets. Yeah, we want to do that so we can get jet engines when those are available because after 1945 jets take over big time Because if you take a look at the airline They just disappear and you require jet engines to go any further from 1945 onwards it Says it's the last big report before release. Okay, good. Are there big reports weekly or monthly? Oh, wow. America's kicking ass in the Philippines. Well done. Okay, so we know where America is active, at least. How is Japan doing? Japan's lost two million now. All adults serve. They have about two million available. So clearly they were still mobilizing, which is what I suspected. Dutch exile leader offers service. Hello? I saw that Japanese fleet sailing madly through here. I could do with more recon. In fact, I could just do with more destroyers active. So I might create some destroyer recons if the escorts take all they need. You know what? You'll do. Add you to this fleet. Recon. Alright, how are the Marines doing? 
Marines are ready. You have a go. Excavation 5's just finished. Cool. Right, let's just go through this list and see if there's any other 1944 technologies that I absolutely need to get now. That's a 45. That's a 45. Doctrine's done. Naval. We could get a new... Um, destroyer. Air Doctrine's done. Engineering. Already working on. Industry is a next year. These are 45s. We should probably get these two before too long. We can get all of these. They're not either ors. Oops. Oh, but this has actually led down to construction speed and resource gathering. And also specialized engineering, which increases rocket damage. Well, I think that we want practical engineering. And then infantry equipment stuff. Commands. You're not on strike force. Ah, bugger. <laughs> Danish exile leader. Cool. Naval engagement. Time for us to kick the Japanese out of Indonesia. Our fleet is quite significantly stronger than theirs. Uh, in fact, you could potentially even be based in Batavia. Ooh, there's a big Japanese navy. orders. Just make sure that we do that centrally. That's a big ass naval invasion. Need to make sure we hold on to the ports, which we are doing at the moment. Another naval engagement. Another obliteration of a bunch of screens. need to keep on doing it until we seize control of the uh, waters here. Okay, you're attacking Palambang, which is a problem for me. Return there and defend it. Mark 1 decryption. Okay, so we finished all the encryption decryptions. So it's time for the infantry equipment upgrades. Hey, Tori. It says the last big report before release, and I think they mentioned an earlier report that will be out before the end of the year. The reports are usually every Friday. So, before next Friday, then? Is that what you're telling me? Because having Kaiserreich by then would be pretty cool. Can't believe I wasn't hunting their ships here. So I really do need to just get more recon down that way. In fact, just having five destroyers seems to do the job. So let's make you into a new task force. Same job. And you lot join that. Did they just... All in. Yes, they did. Go! Orders. Go! 
We're across. We've done it. Pushing them back, sir. Hell yes. All in. All right, let's push them out. Onwards and upwards, eh? All in. Meanwhile, you guys have killed the tanks. Glorious. Slowly but surely beating the Japanese here. But it is definitely taking its time. And there we go, we've taken the last port. That was the last stop. And then let's get the rockets. Infantry hard attack and piercing. I don't even know which Chinese faction to try first in the new update. Legation cities for me, probably. Island hopping, just like real life. Yeah, it really is. Uh, speaking of island hopping, how are my marines doing? Uh, they're training pretty quickly. And we have a surplus of heavy tanks. This is great. We actually have a surplus of all of the equipment that we need. And 1,800 dive bombers. Ah! Excellent! The Allies have finally pushed across into Sardinia. This is an offensive I would really like to support. Um, so, would you like some dive bombers? I think you're going to need to take more airbase. Oh, no, not necessarily. Free French. Free French. And free French. Give them a hand. Yeah, we're now getting the, giving them a lot of air support. Right, what am I building that's out of date? Ah, the torpedo bombers. Uh, just straight up upgrade, I think. And those are medium maritimes. Is that a special upgrade? Yes, it was. Oh no, it's... Yes, it was. Wellington Mark 8 is what I'm building there, right? Yes, those are kind of ancient. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cancel the Wellington Mark 8. Because we're not really using naval bombers anymore. We could start building some strategic bombers. And start going after Germany. Going for a Japan first policy, pretty much because they threaten India. Now that this is stabilized, we're probably going to try and liberate Turkey That's from enough. the Soviets. But I can't really do that until I sort out the attrition issues over there. And that still hasn't happened. Recently found out playing this mod that you can recycle old equipment for materials. Did you know about this feature already? Uh, have they changed how this works? I know you can convert. That doesn't recycle them. That just means that you can upgrade old equipment for cheaper. Rather than making entirely new stuff. And we are doing that to an extent. We're upgrading our small arms. We could probably upgrade the artillery. And aircraft. Yeah, go ahead. Do that. Let's get these upgrades done. Listen up. 